Hello! It's happening again! Boom! And it really is quite a boom, these are quite heavy. This is another set of a hundred CDs and DVDs, like what we did before from the same place, that's entertainment, doing them for £10 again. They were doing them once again, so I thought, you know what? Let's do another video, because people really liked the last one. Which did very much take me by surprise, actually. I nearly didn't release the last video. Um, I filmed it, obviously, and then I went back and, you know, checked through it and blah blah blah, and editing blah 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 blah, and do you know what? I watched it and thought, oh, this is terrible. It's just like some bloke going, don't know what this is, don't know what this is, don't know what this is. Nobody's going to want to watch that. And then something happened, and somebody said, oh, that was uh, seemed quite interesting to me. All right, I'll try it. Ooh, hold me breath. People really liked it. It was pointed out to me afterwards, of course, for me it's just somebody going, oh, oh, don't know what this is, oh, I don't know what that is. Because I've seen them all before when I recorded it, but for the audience it's all interesting to see what's coming next. Anyway, that was our rationalisation of it. Let's open this uh, rather nice, actually high quality, um, wrapping paper, certainly more high quality than I wrap anybody's gifts with, and see what they've given us this time. Sleeveless discs, 49p each, or an awful lot less, because it's £10 for like over a hundred. All round about a hundred. Basically, the number hundred should be kept in mind. So what have we got? <coughs> Hopefully more DVDs than CDs this time, especially CDs where it's just got pictures on the front. It's Rocky Balboa! That was an alright film. There's Sylvester Stallone. There he is, look. He sees all. He knows all. But he says nothing. So this was like the fifth Rocky film, was it? I can't even remember. Was it Rocky VI? I cannot remember now, but it's where he's old and uh, his son is like not following in his footsteps and there's a bit of friction. But then it's kind of all right in the end. It was quite a good film, from what I recall, actually. So uh, that's something, isn't it? I saw that at the cinema, if I remember. Right, nice start. Pleased with that, keeping that one. Next up we have Luciano Pavarotti, King of Melodram. Melodram is, of course, a drug which makes your arms drop off, so uh, a bit dangerous if you ask me from the Dog and Roll label. My goodness. Ness and Dormer, that's his big one. Ness and Dormer, where he goes around singing that nobody's going to sleep because he's singing. Hey, it's in an opera. It makes sense in the uh, narrative. Um, well, that's I'm not a big fan of opera or anything like that, so that can go off to the left there. Next up, Gladiator, Collector's Edition. Man, I don't have Gladiator on DVD. That's great. Two problems are, number one, I feel it's the kind of film that uh, actually you'd quite like on Blu-ray, because, you know, visually sumptuous and that. And secondly, this is just disc two, the special features. <sighs> DVD extras, eh? Lovely. Well, we've got O-Town, maybe, from J Records. I have no idea whatsoever. Evan Almighty. Have I seen that? Yes. Um, it was on in the background while I was doing something. It's a sequel to Bruce Almighty, where um, that guy whose name I cannot remember at the top of my head, and it's really annoying me, he's in everything. Steve Carroll, that's him. Um, it, it plays like a newscaster guy who runs for politician office stuff, but then like he becomes Noah for some reason. And it wasn't very good at all. It was all a bit sickly sweet saccharine, and I can't be arsed with it, so I won't be keeping that one. Next up, The Chills Soft Bomb. A bomb made out of livers. That'd be quite soft, wouldn't it? Next. Classic Brass from the Grimethorpe Colliery Band. Now we're talking. All your favourites. Look, the William Tell Overture, Valdra's March, MacArthur Park. One of the few songs where the lyrics constantly reference a cake that's melting because it's been left out in a rainstorm. Uh, uh, Charlie's Angels. Music from the motion picture. True by Spandau Ballet. Oh my god. Leo Sayer. You make me feel like dancing. The Vapors and Turning Japanese. Wow. Well, I know some people want that, so I'll keep it to one side. Um, that's uh, something, I suppose. Jagged Little Thrill. The saga continues. Goodbye. Cut something. Featuring Ludacris. No idea. Russell Brand live! And he's about to smack you with a stick for daring to go and see him live. <laughs> 2006 Vanity Projects Limited. <laughs> if that is the name of Russell Brand's company, then... Uh, he does get 100 points for that. Russell Brand, uh, interesting but uh, vaguely irritating man. Um, I did see him live once in Norwich. He cl like climbed up a fire escape and uh, nearly fell off the upstairs ring. It was all very odd. Um, yeah, uh, I don't think I'll bother that myself, but I know somebody who will. I'll keep that. The Streets. Fit But You Know It video, Director's Cut, and The Irony of All Two Videos from The Streets. If you've never heard of The Streets, um, if you're not British, you probably haven't. They're a uh, sort of very... 
it's a hard one to describe, but the main thing I remember about them is they actually sing in their sort of natural accents, which is quite rare, because most British acts sing the sort of American accent, which does annoy me. But unfortunately, I have never enjoyed a strong song by the street, so I can go over there. Uh, final destination, not for rental. Or oh, the final destination. Now, is that the original one? Or is that the one they did later? It says 2009, so it's going to be the later one. I've only seen the very first Final Destination film. Vaguely all right for a sort of 90s horror. Um, this one I have not seen. Oh, I'll put that to one side and give that a watch in 93 years' time. Blue Guilty. I see. Well, the disc isn't blue, so you're liars. Uh, we have Explosive, the best of Bond. As in James Bond? Was it just the best of band? This is the best of any band ever. Also, really strange design. This uh, sort of uh, very light beigey colour here is almost white, and it's kind of uh, very hard to see against each other. Um, this is very odd. I don't know really what that is, um, and I can't play you any because, of course, we will be destroyed immediately. Um, hmm. It's just, isn't that, if it is James Bond, isn't that a strange cover design? I don't know, I have to look into that. Please give to, please give to 15 UK. Yes, please give to 15 UK. 15 UK need your money. Likely story, says the little bear. Sony Pictures Classics, not a film I am at all um, familiar with. 87 minutes. Well, we'll find out one day. Victory Records, A Perfect Murder, Martyr Ad and Darkest Hour from the Sadist Nation. And it's got skulls on. And that doesn't look particularly jolly. That might be good. I haven't got a bloody clue. Variety, Electrical Recording. Oh my god, this will be an old one, won't it? Intro, Nijinsky Heart, Bread and Circus, The Trials of Eyeliner. Hang on, is the, uh, this is just something made... That's from Mark Armand, look. Oh, interesting. So it's just something made to look old, as opposed to actually being old. OK, then. Uh, Smallville, the Talon Mix. So this is like a uh, sort of tie-in soundtrack from that Smallville TV show, which was like about the early days of Superman when he was young and uh, killed puppies for fun. Oops, spoilers. Uh, Mel Gibson's... Ugh. Lovely Mel Gibson. Yeah. Apocalypto! I have never seen this. It's meant to be a very interesting film uh, in a sort of language you can't understand. Presumably subtitled, or do they do it narratively? I don't know. Oh well, I shall give it a watch at some point, try not to think about Mel Gibson. The Devil Wears Prada. I see, that is an Anna Hathaway and Glenn Close, isn't it? Again, I think I've seen most of that at some point. I'll keep that to one side, and um, I know somebody who'll probably want that, yeah. Now, this doesn't have a name on it, but it's clearly The Hangover, isn't it? Is it The Hangover 1, 2 or 3? It says the first one. So the first Hangover film is kind of... it was all right. It was a sort of decent, sort of fairly run-of-the-mill comedy. Um, did very well at the box office. They did a second Hangover, which was basically like a kind of uh, remake of the first, but that was just really, really weak. And I've never seen the third or spoken to anyone who's seen the third, which is a disappointment. Um, Ocean's Eleven. Oh, the, is that the original? No, no, it's not the original. It's the uh, George Clooney stroke um, Brad Pitt and Matt Damon, all that version. Because uh, the original version was in the 1950s or early 60s with the Brat Pack, you know, Fred Astaire and all that. Fred Astaire. <laughs> yes, Fred Astaire, that famous member of the Brat Pack. No, um, you know, Sammy Davis Jr. and the guy whose name I can't remember because it's now been totally replaced in my head with Fred Astaire. <laughs> Oh, dearie me, that's annoying. Anyway, yeah, um, it's very good. It's a very good heist film, um, one of the best ones. Again, when you run through it, there's always little bits that don't quite add up and make sense because it has to be uh, clever, clever, but yeah, uh, really, really uh, solid film like that. Very, very good, and none of the sequels lived up to it at all, from what I remember. Pen Pushers! P Patriot, go Petri, keep pe pe that one. Back to Titanic! Original music composed and conducted by James Horner. Oh wow, I hope it's a concept album about going back to the Titanic. We're going back to the Titanic. Oh shit, it's all underwater. Um, Starling by Duncan Fulton, or Duncan Fulton by Starling. We may never know. What is this? Scratch, disc one. Um, DVD 9, it's a film, a film called Scratch. I am not aware of this one. I think disc 2 is in here as well. Yeah, it is, look. Um, hmm, well, that's something to look up. Mike Doyle, every word, every word Mike Doyle has ever said can be fit on one CD. He is a man of few words. Born Free, The Air That I Breathe, Somewhere Down the Road, Middle of the Road Classics, yep, marvellous, right. Girls Allowed Present, 
a CD that's thrown to the side very quickly. Uh, DVD 2 of something to do with Predator? It's the second DVD. It's an extras DVD for the first Predator film. Well, well who knows? Get in the chopper. Uh, this is quite German. Peter and Linda Orloff in relation to... Uh, I was going to say uh, Graf Orlok, the, um, which is the name of the vampire from Nosferatu. Then I remembered Orloff and Orlok are different names. Tiny Masters of Today. Tiny Masters of Today, bang bang. But boom cake. Man, th that's confusing and difficult to read. It's quite an interesting image, though. Uh, Tchaikovsky, pathetic. Yeah, try better, Tchaikovsky. Uh. The Doors, greatest hits. Oh, that's a, that's a very solid album. Joe Cocker. Worst hits. <laughs> now, what is this? Uh, hmm, yeah, Cocker, that's. You know, but I can't tell you if that's a great hits one or not. Um, what's next up here? Can't quite make out it's in the middle. The Shawshank Redemption. What in, right, so it's the Shawshank Redemption on one side, and on the other side is Witchcraft. Like a horror film, isn't it? That's very interesting. Hmm, have a look at that. Uh, Roots Maneuver, BC to CD over the uh, brand new second hand. Now you're just confusing me. Oh, it is Dada, so you know it's supposed to. D4 Girl, come on, out of blues, what you want. Thanks. Stunt Records Compilation 15 from Sundance, the Scandinavian Music Company. I'm sure there's more than one music company in Scandinavia. Carry On, A Life Less Plagued, not one of the Carry On films. Right now, Leon Jackson. Tomorrow, somebody else. Ah, uh, it's Monk, old Tony Shalhoub being a quirky detective. I think his quirky thing was he had serious problems with obsessive compulsive disorder, which doesn't sound very nice, does it really? I uh, think off the top of my head. But this is season three, disc two, which probably isn't a good place to start. Now, this is interesting. What's going on here? Right, Sophie Ellis Bexter, Trip the Light Fantastic. What has been written on here that they've tried to take off? Mm, it can't, they've done a good job, unfortunately. I cannot make it out. It's odd, because would there has somebody actually written on that? Or has somebody gone over... I'm not sure that's a pen. I think that may actually be the design of it, made to look like it's been gone over. Maybe, maybe not. We may never know. Uh, except many of you in the comments will, of course. Mixed Mag Classics, Darren Emerson and Dave Angel. Dave Angel, eco-warrior. I'm being followed by a moon... No, wait, it was, um... Ah, oh, what was the music I used to play on the Fast Show with Dave Angelico where it wasn't Moon Shadow, was it? Um, carried away on a moonlight. Yes, it was the. Um, oh God, what's his name? Mike Oldfield, wasn't it? Yay, there we are. Will and Grace series one, episodes thirteen to fifteen. I saw one of these once. I I just did nothing for me whatsoever. Uh, Highgate split personality night CD two. Well, if we haven't got CD one, we probably won't be able to follow the story. Uh, Friends. I think in any of these boxes there's at least going to be one DVD of Friends, because they've like sold more DVDs than everything else in the entire world. Um, I don't know what the, which one this is. Can we find out from it? No, I don't think it's in there. Disc 5. And this one, yeah, no idea. Stardust by Paramount Pictures. Is that the film Stardust? I presume it is. That was a very, very good film. Interestingly, uh, parts of it were filmed in Norwich. Uh, there's on Elm Hill, where it has old cobbled streets. That appears in stuff quite a lot. Ah, oh, the dark side of the sun! Now we're fucking talking, boys. So, if I recall correctly, and I really hope I do, because I've now bigged it up. Hang on. What's it? Oh, my goodness. Jack Frost. The film about a killer snowman. Oh man, low quality gubbins. Oh man, that's fantastic. Um, I love that stuff. The Dark Side of the Sun. Yeah, this is like a film that Brad Pitt appeared in for 23 seconds when he was younger and they were just selling it in the early days of DVD as, you know, Brad Pitt film. And in fact, it's that. Well, there's a lot more DVDs in this one. I'm quite liking it. Uh, this, for the History Channel, um, Spying Game, which I am going to presume is uh, sort of documentaries about spies and stuff. Specifically Mossad, this one, which is uh, one of the uh, sort of more Middle Eastern uh, agencies, I believe. Bubba Hotep, disc two. Oh, I've never seen Bubba Hotep. It's like a um, weird film where Bruce Campbell plays like a retired Elvis who lives in some sort of old people's home and then they're attacked by an evil mummy or something. I really must get around to watching it, but uh, I'm probably not going to watch it just from disc two, am I? Because that's just going to be extras. Shame. Oh God, the out here brothers with la 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 hey hey. Always known for their lyrics, the Out Here Brothers. Man, I remember them being a thing. Uh, True Euphoria, CD2. Thanks, Telstar TV. I don't know what's on that. Um, 
I'll put it there and then see at some point. This, I can't make out what it is. One, one, genie in a bottle. What a girl wants. So these are like Christina. Oh, I'm going to make it out in the middle. Christina Aguilera Special Edition. Tremendous. Um, I know some people want that. I'll put it over there. Inside the Lion's Den. Behind the scenes with the British and Irish Lions. New Zealand, 2005. Brilliant. So it's like behind the scenes of a rugby team 12 years ago. That's that's amazing. A Shakira album. Oral Fixation, Volume 2. And featuring Hips Don't Lie. If you can get your hips to lie, that's a very useful skill for life. Timberland presents shock value. You just turn it on and it goes tits, like that, really loudly. That shocked me. An introspective of house, first dimension from John Kelly. Thanks, John. Most rated, five stars. Ooh. From defected, oh, just defective, wrong, isn't it? Right, what's next? The Negotiator, right. Uh, I feel like I know, no, I'm thinking of a film called The Translator which has uh, Nicole Kidman in you. Yeah, I don't know what The Negotiator is, but apparently it was owned by J.M. at some stage. If you're watching J. Monkton, which I've decided is your surname, you can't have it back, I just bought it. New Woman by Kylie Minogue. Craig David, fill me in. Black Box Recorder, The Facts of... That's that's a very a bit kind of left field there. So you've got uh, Kylie Minogue song, Craig David, and then the Facts of Life by Black Box Recorder, which, if you've ever heard that, that does not fit with the others. That's... A very strange... Hmm, yeah, interesting. It's Florence Rawlings, everyone. A fool in love. Also, a woman with a microphone. Left field, rhythm and stealth, together at last. Has there been a rhythm and stealth game? I'll bet... In fact, I was going to say it looks sounds like something you'd get in the sale on Steam. And, um... Yeah, it's even got that kind of indie game font they often use. Everything but the girl, walking wounded. Oh. I, I kind of read that as everything but something first, as in B-U-T-T, -T, and was getting a bit worried about what that was, but uh, that's something. Homesick, special edition, tremendous. Josh Groban, he's allowed to record things for some reason. Uh, what's this? I have no idea. But I tell you what, it looks like a grill of some type. And here's a posturing thing. Take that, the circus. Yep, you can take that, all right. Uh, yabba dabba do. Yabba dabba do! Made in Germany from Zix Music. I, I, I don't understand. Um, I thought it was something to do with the Flintstones, but it's clearly not. Emil Muftugliglidukog. That one, one of my favourites. Heavyweight by Rachel Yamagata. No idea. Come on. One, one, oh! <laughs> Fucking Christ on a magic stick. Right. My thought process there was come on. In fact, I was about to say, come on, less CDs, more DVDs. At which point, Satan himself pops up with Fred the Movie. On the plus side, really good art, because uh, perfect use of the whole. But, uh, oh dear. Right, let's, let's just get through this one. Be beating Heart Baby by Can't Read, because it's white on yellow. Thanks. Um, oh, man. Right, so... Right, oh, God. So there's this guy, uh, I think his name is Lucas Cruikshank, was it? Oh, oh, I'm pretty sure that's his name who uh, had this sort of YouTube character called Fred, Fred Figglehorn, where basically it was him, uh, sort of an older teenager, acting like a child and running around shrieking and going... <laughs> and it's funny if you're a child. Um, it's kind of, you know, that kind of stuff, and it worked, and it was all that. And it got very, very, very big, like very big very quickly, and they made a movie of it, which wasn't theatrically released in his Native America, but was theatrically released in the UK. And it was just awful. I mean, it's like really bad. I mean, you know, as a YouTuber who made the film, I had to try and watch it to uh, actually get some sort of um, research thing going on, but I, I couldn't sit through it, God. I think the only interesting thing was his dad was John Cena, or something bizarre like that, but that's great. Somebody's going to get that for Christmas, who I know, and I'm going to put it, wrap it in a really big box. <laughs> um, but anyway, it was very successful. They made several more Fred movies, and eventually Fred, or Lucas, they gave up his channel, and like now it's Fred 2, and it's like an actual child, but somebody else, and it's, I just don't know what happened there, to be honest with you. Oh, dearie me. Amnesiac Radiohead. <clears throat> I'd forgotten about that one. Dun, 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 dun. Sorry. Rail short, De Erfingden de Posey. That's German for my hat is on fire. Capital Gold, Las Vegas Legends, including that drunk guy who tries to stab you with a screwdriver. And people. P people on a compact disc. They're definitely people. 
Um, human people, I think, specifically. <laughs> Next up, ooh, there's a handful. Family Guy! Are we still making this? Apparently. Even though, quite obviously, Seth MacFarlane got sick of it years ago. Um, disc 1, Season 4, Episodes 1 to 4. Season 4 being when it was still a big thing, one presumes. Well, I'm not saying it's a small thing now, but uh, it was bigger in the eyes of those doing it. That's going to be interesting. The Cardigans, Gran Turismo. No, not the PlayStation game. A 4x4 four four is born. 3.5 litre V8 off-roader. Exempt from classification. Oh, man. We should totally make some sort of, um, you know, one of these entertainment infoversal things that uh, gets exempt from classification. Just fill it full of really sickening swear words and weird pornography. Anyway, yeah, this is from Duke Marketing Limited from Discovery Home Leisure. That's how they make 4x4s. Four Presumably to try and sell you one? I don't, I don't really know. That's quite a minimalist design. So minimalist that I can't make out the text around the outside. So it's from AM Records Noctone, and that's all I can tell you. Ah, uh, Friends again. That's good. It'd been at least eight seconds since we had one of those. What's this about? Mono, the Icarus line. Um, and the same on the back. Fair enough. Mad Madison. Mad, 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 It's this one. Don't you worry. J. That's like the worst superhero logo ever. Alien vs Predator, disc two. Well, that's good, because it means I haven't got the bloody... Oh, God, there's two discs in there. Don't tell me you've given me the film. I mean, I could have lived without... Uh... God, Alien vs Predator, man. Why? Why? Oh, no! But they have packaged it with the best Virgin album in the world ever! A Virgin is a company that like produces records and stuff. It's not just like Virgin singing. That would be weird. Alien vs Predator, disc two. <sighs> is my noise for pretty much all the Predator sequels. Well, the second one's kind of all right. But, you, know. you should listen to our Sequelizers podcast. Um, the Sequelizers. S-E-Q-U-E-L-I-S-E-R-S. -E -E the Sequelizers. Where we look at disappointing sequels to really great films and uh, come up with pitches uh, to improve them and make better films. It's very good, particularly if you are a film nerdy type. Uh, Feeder, Pushing the Senses, Disc 2. Pushing the Senses, Disc 2. This is disc two of Pushing the Senses by Feeder. Has everybody got that? Good, let's move on. Uh, future Clouds or something, and then something else on the back. Thanks, guys. Uh, what is this? Kylie Fever bonus disc. This is one that actually gives you a horrible fever. Manufacturing Descent, Uncovering Michael Moore. So that's a weird photo. So what is this? Michael Moore, the uh, documentary filmmaker. Is this like a uh, film made by somebody who doesn't like... Michael Moore, so is kind of uh, having an anti-Michael Moore film. Seems a bit ephemeral, doesn't it? Blimey. Um, call it Blazing, or Blazing, maybe. A classic education. That skeleton does feature in all classic educations, as I'm sure you well know. Schubert, the major piano works. I prefer the minor piano works. It just goes ting ting. No, I'll start that one again. Uh, Lyndon David Hall, In Between Jobs. He made a CD in between jobs. Good for you, Lyndon David Hall. Robbie Williams, Sing When You're Winning. Um, and don't read the text, because you have to like put it in there. So I can read that from here, you probably can't see that through the uh, viewfinder. Ricky Tomlinson, Music My Ass. Oh man, if, if you're not... Um English, that's going to be such a hard one to... Uh, basically, it's an actor well known for a certain type of uh, character, usually played for comedy, um, and uh, let's not even get into it. Music my ass. The Grudge 2! This time it's the same! Sam Raimi Presents, which means he had something to do with the first one. I remember seeing that in the cinema and being really, really annoyed, and I realised about five minutes in that it was a remake of a Japanese film, which incredibly I didn't realise at the time, and I really just wished I'd watched the Japanese film instead. But it's been long enough ago now that I probably should go and visit the Japanese one. I do hate watching remakes before the original, especially when it's like an uh, English language remake of a foreign film. They're never as good. They always lose the bloody core of it, don't they? Memory Run 18. Hmm. Well, I don't remember that. Oh, here's a Ricky Martin CD. Next week, something else. Seven Years in Tibet, or just Seven Years Tibet. Seven Years Tibet. It took me that long to get to the front of the counter in the bookies. Um, that is a Brad Pitt film from his early days. He puts in a really awful German accent, if I recall. Uh, Michael Jackson, Remember the Time. Original version, Silky Soul. Oh, it's just a single, isn't it? Crap. Glamour Grooves. 
My Love Has Gone by Dido, or Dido, I don't know pronounce that actually, Natalie Imbruglia, Imbrug, Natalie Imbruglia, Hurricane, yeah. The O.C., the complete second season, disc four. That's pretty fucking incomplete, boys. All right. 21. It is a DVD. It is called 21. I feel like I that's familiar, but I cannot place any details to it. Uh, Franco de Grassi and Gianni Lenocci featuring contemporary jazz. Subway. Number zero. Oh, we haven't even started. Placebo, sleeping with ghosts. Don't do that, you get ghost diseases. Um, what's on the back? What else is in here? Oh, I nearly missed Maze. Welcome back. Yes, it's the man who's really, really unstable. He just falls over all the time. American Pie, The Wedding. Oh, God, I saw the first American Pie one, but um, never saw this. Who was in it? That... Uh, that guy who never did much past the American Pie films and Alison Hannigan from Buffett the Umpire Slayer. The Red Book Sessions from the Singing Company. Do they have to sing all the time? What a pain that would be. Why is CMP? By the Charlatans, apparently. Fair enough. Oh no! That is the Ben Affleck Daredevil film, which is really not very good at all. If you want to see Daredevil, watch the Netflix series. Much better. Um, although apparently they're... It's like a director's cut, which is far superior to the, one, the theatrical cut. I wonder which one this is. Hmm. Hmm. That's a good question, and I have no idea of the answer. Believe, Big Brother. Well, if you read 1984, belief is all well, that's sort of about, isn't it, really? Intolerable Cruelty. Oh, that, oh man, that's a Coen Brothers film, isn't it? Is that... Uh, is that George Clooney and uh, Julia Roberts or somebody? I can't remember. I've never seen it. But now I can. It's probably on Netflix, but hey. The limited series produced by Alan Reynolds, G. It's just, I don't know, songs that contain the letter G a lot. Sponsored by Sesame Street. Before You Go. Another film I don't know. It's getting a lot of obscure ones today. 15 there. Rated Ms. Dynamite. Tee -hee. A little deeper. That's where she's burying her car keys. Damage Ghetto Romance. Fair enough. James Cooper, second season. Again, haven't seen the first. The Postal Service, give up. No, I'm going to finish. We're nearly at the end now. Uh, Brian McFat. Oh, God. Um, Luciano Berrio, differences and various sequences. And some chamber music. Right, last handful. What have we got? Uh, Faith Hill, there you'll be. That uh, shouldn't mean you'll be there. You'll, uh, I'm confused by that. There's another one in here. What's all this going on? Ooh. Come on, what is the other one? The other one. Oh, the other one is a very, very uh, minimalist thing. I don't know what that is at all. So I've got copyright. This it just says the copyright. Oh, it's Blur. Right, it's uh, the band, the best of Blur, by the looks of it. Ah, well, you can only tell by the little colours and the fact that I managed to uh, read the stuff around the outside. Uh, what else have we got? Um, Home Alone. I did not have a copy of Home Alone. So cruel that they superglued poor old Macaulay Culkin's hands to his cheeks like that. I always felt that was a bit unfair, but hey, he went along with it. The Blind Side, Sandra Bullock and a very tall man with inhuman shoulders. Oh wait, they're pads. That's another film I haven't seen, actually. I guess about American football, which is a, a hard in for me. Oh, The Lawnmower Man. Oh, -ho -ho! Now we're talking. Pierce Brosnan in absolute nonsensical uh, virtual reality hokum. On the other side is Train to Hell. Then on here you've got Tiger Warsaw and Split Decision. Right, this is going to be one of those early days of DVD, um, you know, double-sided things where it's all uh, four films for only ten pounds, and there'll be one you've heard of, like The Lawn Man, and then just a load of low-budget '90s guff, which I know in the right mind would want to watch. Time to say goodbye. Forty timeless classics for moments of reflection. Oh, so when you look in the mirror, no idea. Happy Songs! Yep, it's the best of the Smiths. Um, the Divine Comedy Regeneration, my favourite band. The Divine Comedy, interesting. Um, you can go there. Uh, Jack Johnson and Friends, sing-alongs and lullabies for the film Curious George. Well, I've now learned there was a film of Curious George. Manumission, Ibiza Classics Collection. I try and avoid anything with Ibiza on because it usually just goes... Tugga, 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 tugga. R&B Slow Jams. Fair enough. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. What have we got? R&B Slow Jams. R&B Slow Jams. R &B... Oh, it's all three discs of R&B Slow Jams. Well, if you're a Slow Jams fan, <laughs> we've got a joy for you. Ah, 300 with Gerard Butler! Ah, good old Gerard Butler. 
the only film I've seen him in where he wasn't a bit shit, frankly. Um, v sort of very odd actor. Uh, the last thing I saw him was Geostorm, which was absolutely abysmal. Uh, just really sort of in unbelievably dull um, disaster film. Unbelievably dull. And it's also all about a Geostorm that doesn't happen. It's just really not very good at all. I like the way all the... Uh, Writing is in foreign languages. Hopefully you put it in and you haven't got an English soundtrack. That'd be amusing. Spaced Out by the people who do the things. Uh, Ministry of Sound, the annual. Disc 2, Boy George. We haven't actually had a Ministry of Sound in here yet, I don't think, which is uh, astonishing because they do so many compilations. They usually feature quite heavily. Benton Alien Force, Volume 3, Paradox. I do not know much about Ben 10, other than the sort of uh, headline synopsis of it. Because, um, you know, I was far too old for that kind of thing when it came out. But uh, uh, it's like a kid, and, and he can count to ten, then some aliens come. Actually, it's, it's a bit more complicated than that, I believe. Ah, The Silence of the Lambs. Now, that is a film which stands up, an astonishingly good film. I'm sure I have it on Blu-ray, but now... I have it on DVD as well. That's... I never realised uh, the skull on the um, back of the uh, bee waspy thing there is uh, look made up of uh, people, made up of ladies. That is, I believe, an image put together by Salvador Dali, if I recall. Interesting. And Back to the Future Part 3. Do 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 And Back to the Future Part 2, but no Part 1. There is no standard Back to the Future. You must imagine what the first one was like. I'm sure I've got those on Blu-ray. It's kind of a legal requirement, really, isn't it? Ah, and there we go. Crikey. Uh, that was a, there's a lot more um, films in that than the first one, I believe. That was uh, certainly worth the £10, I imagine, if only for the fun of seeing what's in it and then taking it all down the charity shop afterwards. Subscribe for more.